Well, Rob Goffey and Gareth Jones have done it again. One of the books that I really admire, one that I've talked about quite a lot, is Why Should Anyone Be Led By You? And now they've turned things literally on its head in terms of the question which I love, why should anyone work here? Perhaps not here on Storm Beach, but why not? And what I really like about this, because it's turned it on its head, I think people in the gig economy, the changing world of work, people are now asking that question, well, why should I work here? At interview stage, not so much about analysing me, the candidates, and being on, you know, being grilled and on show. Actually, well, why should I work here? What's, what's in it for me? And it's a great read, and as soon as I saw it, I was... I bought it straight away, particularly in the back of their work, why should anyone be led by you? Because, no surprise, they put authenticity at the heart of their work, so about making your values of value, which is really important to me. And in terms of work, work should be a stimulating environment, a place, a force for good, a place of power, a place of interest. And actually that can, that physical and non-physical environment, as we know, can promote and evoke optimal performance and flow. So it's so, so important, not just the, you know, the, the physical shape and space, but also the people, um, the creativity, and the mindset and emotions. So I'll share quickly with you what I see their, their framework for the overall book. I mean, it's not gonna spoil anything in terms of the story, obviously, but uh, just how I might recommend it. They talk about dreams, so difference, so um, mnemonic really, a D, difference, R, radical honesty, E, extra value, A, my big favorite, authenticity, because that's absolute shortcut to flow and optimal performance, meaning, and S is for simple rules. So let me just give you a, a brief overview. And this happens on page 12. So pretty early on, you can get the framework, which will help guide you through their overall experience of the book. So difference, I want to work in a place where I can be myself, where I can express the ways in which I'm different and how I see things differently. Love it, that really privileges individual value. Radical honesty. I want to know what's really going on, that transparency. The E for dreams is around extra value, making your values valuable. I want to work in an organization that magnifies my strengths and adds extra value for me and my personal development. I love that part about magnify, mag magnify my strengths. A, big one, authenticity. And from my work, you've seen plenty of blogs and postings on this. I want to work in an organization that I'm proud of, that pride, one that truly stands for something. I talk about that all the time. You know, what do you stand for? What does the organization stand for? Pride is a big part of that, brilliant. Uh, the M from dreams is a meaning. I want my day-to-day -day work to be meaningful, have a, have a purpose. And the S from dreams is simple rules. Keep it really simple. I do not want to work, I do not want to be hindered by stupid rules or rules that apply to some people, but not others. I totally get that. I admire the approach about hacking the environment and rules can be, and processes and policies, you know, they're really getting out of data, they can really be about of that. So, yep, that would be me. Why Should Anyone Work Here? by Rob Goffey and Gareth Jones. Big recommendation, check it out. This is the hardback version. What have we got about just over 200 pages? And um, it's really exciting. I think it's, as I said, it's really turning that question on its head about why should I work here? And I think that's something we have to privilege. If you're in a HR role, we have to privilege that and think about, well, why are people gonna work that here? And also in the shortcut to optimal performance, if there is a shortcut, this is a great way to access that.